Okay, you're in Microsoft Word and you want text on the same line to be both left and right aligned. Now I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. First way uses tabs, the second way uses a table. Okay, let's look at the first method using tabs. Now to use tabs, you will need to show the ruler. And if you can't see the ruler as I've got it there, you need to go to the view tab on your ribbon and tick this little option and that will show the ruler. Now over here on the left hand side, you've got this little tab button and every time you click it, you get a different type of tab. Now the tab that you want is the right align tab and it'll look like that. If you hover over it, it will say right tab. So with that tab showing, what you then do is you go up to your ruler and when you click on the ruler, it'll position that right tab. You can then drag it to whatever position you like on the ruler. So I'm going to type text on this line and that text by default would be left aligned. And then I'm going to press the tab key on my keyboard. Now, if you're not sure where your tab key is, it's there. So you just press that key and the flashing cursor will then jump to wherever you've placed that right tab on the ruler. So if you then start typing, it will position the text right aligned on that tab on your ruler. Now, if you want another line in your document that uses that right tab, just press enter and you'll see that the tab exists on the new line. Now, I'll just delete that space before my name there, just so you can see that this text is perfectly left aligned and this text is right aligned. Now, when you press enter, you do get a space between your lines because essentially you've introduced a paragraph. If you don't want a space, what you can do rather than pressing enter is use shift enter and then get a new line, but without the space. And if I press tab, I get the right aligned text over at that tab position. And I could do the same here, shift and enter. I get the new line without the space above it, press tab and I can type at that right tab position. So that's the first method using tabs on your ruler. The second method is to use tables. So let's see how that works. So to do this, you need to insert a table. Now, although we're going to put the text in the table, the table itself will be invisible. So you're not going to see borders, lines or anything like that. So to insert the table, you go to the insert tab on your ribbon, go to this table button. And all you need is to select one row, two columns. Now to get rid of the border lines, just select the table. You can do that by clicking on this little button, top left. Then on the table design tab, go to this borders button and just select no borders. Now you can see on my document, I can still see the structure of the table. I can see the grid lines of the table. They are not gonna print out, now, if you want to see those grid lines, they won't appear by default. You need to go to the table layout tab and select this button, view grid lines. I think they're worth showing on the screen because it does show you the structure of your table. So all you have to do is type in the text that you want to appear on the left of the line. And then you can use tab again, and that'll go across to the second cell. Don't have to use tab, you can just click into it. But what you'll need to do is change the alignment within this cell. Now, the easiest way to do that is on your home tab, just use this right align button. So then if you start typing, the text will be right aligned within that cell. Now, if I want to type text immediately beneath the current text, all I need to do is go back to the text that is currently left aligned, press enter, and this won't leave a space above the text. And then if I do the same thing over here, click at the end of that text, press enter, I can type in the extension number. Now, if I press tab rather than enter at the end of this row, it actually creates a new row. So I could type mark, a 
education director. Go over to this cell, type in the email address, press enter and type the telephone number. Now, the good thing about tables is that you have a lot of control in terms of the positioning of the text and the space between the text. So for example, if I wanted to change the position of this right aligned text, all I need to do is drag the border of the table. If I want to change the spacing between the rows in this table, I would select the table. And then what I can do is use this height setting. If I increase it, you can see it increases the space between the text in each of these rows. And if you want to turn the grid lines off, just go back to table layout and click on this view grid lines button again. And that's how the text will appear on the printed page. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.